The kanafa is a traditional Middle Eastern sweet cheese dessert that combines shredded dough, strands with stretchy cheese. Okay, Nadim and Fadi from Al Badwadi Grill are here in our Studio 41 kitchen to break down the recipe. So this is a very popular Middle Eastern dish that has an interesting history about its name. First of all, correct. correct. Tell okay. us about that. So there's different dialects, obviously. The, the, the main question is Knafa or Chnafa. Okay. So the, some people get to, you know, oh, I'm not giving it to you. That's Chnafa. You oh. got to say it this way. You <laughs> oh, got to say that's Knafa. Serious. Oh, okay. it is. That's serious. All right. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So tell us what, uh, we, we mentioned a little bit. It's cheese and. So, yes, it's cheese. It's phyllo dough. Right now it's actually Don't going get too, too hot. hot. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so it's cheese, phyllo dough. Uh, there's a G butter. Okay. Um, What's a G butter? It's it's like a more of an organic type. Clarified butter. butter, right? Okay, yes. got it, got it. Sorry. Yeah, got it. G. Okay, got yes. it. See, again, this this yes. makes sense. Yeah. So going on. He, he's going to demonstrate pretty much how he spreads it out okay. and puts it together. So, so we gonna, start with butter. We, you start with the every ghee. great with dessert the starts with like it starts with some the kind ghee, of yes. ghee. So okay. he's going to put the ghee on there. These are humongous fans. Do they use, well, are they usually well, made this big? Uh, party sizes, catering sizes, but we, we, we came out with the big pan to try to get the flip going. Oh. You want to get that, make sure that Pete's not getting too high on that one. Yeah, yeah okay, so uh, you make sure that the all of the bottom has yeah. the ghee. Okay. Oh gosh, that smells good. Mm. Oh, mm. butter so good. Mm. How long have you been making this? Um, seven years. Seven right. years, okay. All right, so it, it it's, okay. This is, yeah. okay. All right. This is gonna be. This is impressive. Mm -hmm. how, okay, look. How many people does that feed? This will feed a good. Oh, like I'd say. Okay, good. Oh, I was like, okay, this I'm isn't like, just no. like you know. No, no. You got a little uh, family size, or you got a little. Uh, like shaky, shaky, shaky. As, shaky, as shaky. little as two to four people, you get a size. Okay. Size. All right. So this is the phyllo dough. Okay. Oh, that's phyllo dough. This is phyllo oh, dough. I've never seen it like there, that before. Yeah. There, there's two versions. There's a phyllo dough version, and there's a a, a, a a thin version. Okay. We stick to the phyllo dough version. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, yeah, it's it's good. It's okay, all. okay, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're just making up, watching up for you. Yes, yes. All right. Okay, so, so you take get shredded. So it comes really already good. shredded yeah. up, or do you shred it? I do. You yeah. shred okay. it. Okay. Okay, and you still shake it up. Then we just go like oh, this. make it all nice. Look like like angel hair pasta, this, almost like. This looks like it'd be really fun to make. Oh mm. yeah. It's fun to make. Yes, it what is. is. Tell me about the history of this dessert. Yeah. So it, it's originally from the Levant area, Palestine, Lebanon, uh, Jordan, Syria, that area. Mm -hmm. uh, spread out towards, uh, obviously during the Ottoman Empire, towards Turkey, Turkey and other versions. Uh, in Turkey, it's made more like with a pistachio. Okay. Uh, they might put ice cream with it. Oh. Uh, ours is more, it's uh, it's from Nablus. It's, a, it's an area in Palestine. Okay. Um, so the cheese is specific to it. So okay. it's, it's called Nabilsi, Nablus uh, cheese. Okay. The, the cheese is what makes it so popular and spread out and mm, it works yeah. out, yes. Okay, so wow. So we're gonna... This is really involved. Yes, yes I'm, like, I'm fascinated by the whole process. So mm -hmm. we're just, yeah, so this is a quick version. Okay. So he, now that he gets it on there, we kind of got to press it down. So even though he spreads it out, uh -huh. you have to press it to get it yeah. to the even. So you even. can get it real even? Yes. Oh, that's smart. Okay. okay. Man, you can smell that butter. It smells so good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got the phyllo dough on there. We got the ghee on there. Oh, here comes oh, the cheese. The cheese. That's okay. Fun. Everything's so large. It is. <laughs> and what kind of cheese is this again? It, it, it's a, it's Nablus cheese. It's, it's a cow cheese. Ch okay. It's a cow okay. cheese, yes. Not, not no other version, yes. So pretty much Ooh. spread it out, yes. It's like crumbled. It is crumbled. This is fun. Like This would be fun to make with family, I would feel like. Is that a tradition to, or? It, 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 you could do it at home. It's okay. just uh, the way it's made on a fire, so you need a good, even surface. So we, Got it. we imported uh, special uh, fla uh, equipment for equipment it, right? for mm -hmm. from the Middle East, so that way you could cook evenly and I spread it. it out, yes. Oh, wow, yeah, because this doesn't fit in a regular no. oven or anything yeah, like so that. So once the cheese is pretty much spread out, then you need to do the big flip, right? Well, you got to put it on the fire first. So okay, yeah. we, we went ahead we're, we're and... We're telling that we, happened. We, we, it did happen. Wow. Voila. That's good. Okay, let's see it. No All pressure. Right. No pressure. So we're going to do Spread a flip. He's got to do a flip. Okay. He's going to just go around with it and make sure it's it's moved out. Okay. Um, oh. You know, I worked at a Chicago pizza place as a kid, and we had to do flip the pizza out, and it was a 
big heavy pan. And it is hard to do when that's half the size of this. Yes. <laughs> so is it on or off? It's on. No, it's the hot side. Oh, okay, it's back on. Okay, we've got less than a minute left, so we're no pressure or anything, just letting you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's, there we go. that's there we the ghee under there. Okay. Ghee and the phyllo and the cheese. And the cheese. Yes. Okay. The good flip, and then we're gonna try to get the cheese yes. pool in and there we go. <laughs> Wow! Oh, that was oh, fantastic! Oh, All right. Oh now, my gosh. And then what is oh, this? This is the Girl syrup. Syrup. Oh, yes. Man. Oh, we got what? a little. That's amazing. So we get that syrup on there. Let's get it quick. Try to get that pool, and then we do the pistachio right afterwards. This is like heaven in a big pan. Yes. It is. Wow. Put that pistachio on there. Try to get this pool. Go out right here. Okay. okay, so you're like, it's, oh, oh my, my crushed pistachio. Yes. This is amazing. Tell us a little bit about Al Bawadi Grill. Uh, so originally we started in 2008, uh, spread out, started in a little stand. We're now at two locations, one in Niles, one in Bridgeview. Uh, mostly famous for our grilled items, uh, but Knaf has been a huge I part of it. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, given that, that's a lot. Thank yeah. you so much. This is fantastic. And he's going to cut it up. We're going to try it too. Yes. Absolutely. So we're going to try to get a nice good pool. Let me make sure, we're going to make sure you get all the information on the screen for uh, your two locations. If folks want to come up, that looks so good. Ooh, all right, El Bagwadi Grill. So there you go. There, oh. 87 The Bridgeview and in Niles as well. Social media handles there and the website. We're going to plate this up because it yes. looks fantastic. Thank Absolutely. you guys so much. We appreciate it.